Okay, welcome to ETN News. We're looking at Hawaii, and we just had a 4.4, 7.7 miles deep. This is not in the chambers, because the chambers are 19 to 20-some miles deep. All of these are 19 that I'm clicking on now. That one's 20. 20 and 20 so you know this one here 7.7 .7, that's not in the chambers it's close to the surface something going on with that one 4.4 and now we got the i mean and we got this swarm here on the helena fault system and that is the helena slump and you got this one coming down this just don't look good the way everything's panned out here don't look good at all especially for the slump okay Alaska we don't have much activity up here the biggest quake I think is like a 3.0 northern Alaska that happened right before you know as I was doing my update yesterday around that time and all oh, these are small up north we got two on the Mendocino fault zone that's a 3.5 west of Petrolia, California, 6.2 miles deep. And let me see about this one. 3.8 west of Petrolia, 6.2 miles deep. Okay, never could pronounce that right, but it don't matter. You know what I'm talking about. Try on the Mendocino Fault Zone. And Texas, let me see what we got, 2.6, east, northeast of Smiley, 0, 0.0 miles deep, that's right at the, at the surface. And 2.9, south of Westbrook, Texas, 5.1 miles deep. And we got this swarm over here around Mentone, that's west, southwest of Mentone, Texas. Nothing over toward the east. Alright, now we got two swarms going on. One's around Beatty. And I'm going to zoom in. You'll see a flash here. Because I didn't have it set up. Okay, now you see this pattern coming down. It, there's no fault showing that. And like I talk about all the time. And you have to see it by now if you're a follower. These earthquakes come down through here in a straight line. Right toward Beatty and... Indian Springs, Nevada. Alright, when they're coming down through here, if they come came off of any of these faults in this way or in this way, they would not be in a straight line and they wouldn't be quakes in a straight line every time we get activity in this area. Do you see the pattern that I'm talking about, the fault? And when I explained it before, it comes off the Cascadia. It's not showing, but it comes right across through here and right over to the Cascadia, somewhere in this area. But it is a fault line coming down through there. And here's our swarm, and if it continues and it breaks loose, it'll go on down toward Las Vegas. And here's another thing we got going on. This here, there's no fault line showing for this one either. All the way over to Little Lake. But we got a pattern starting to form this way. And nothing's been shown on the Garlock fault for a long, long time. That's an important fault. But this, this is a new pattern. No fault line. Now let's go down here and look at these quakes around Indian Springs. What a swarm we got going on. 1.6, that's the biggest quake we have down in that area. And that happened after, oh, after we've done had 10, 15 quakes. And over toward Beatty, that's showing a little bit of activity on that end also, so... On down through the valley, when you follow the valley and you look at the way things are going, it's right toward Las Vegas. Now here's the, what Canada's reporting, Canada map. 
0 0.7 these are all small quakes 1.5 Now the 4.4, 7.4 miles deep. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna back this up, and because I've messed up on my pages, I had everything loaded. So you want to see a white, you know, some white flashes right here. All right, we got that 4.4. Got a 5.8 just hit on the Mid Atlantic Ridge. I mean the Indian Ridge, Mid Indian Ridge. 5.8, 4.8 miles deep. You got all of this moving. This this is continents, or you know, that's the reason we got the ring of fire going around and the fire going around this way too. On the Scotia Plate, places like that. This is a 5.1. Okay, now it's pushing on this side of the plates, continents. Mid-Atlantic Ridge, it's spreading. When they had an eruption up here, and, you know, like I tried to tell everybody, I see it cracking. Not really erupting, but cracking. So cracking will cause, can cause an eruption, and it did. It flowed out a pretty good lot. It messed up a pretty good, you know, caused a lot of damage. But it's cracking. Do you see where the fault line goes? Right through that area. Right on the tip end. Right through it and up. So this whole thing will crack. Anyone that lives through this area knows and had their early warnings. That's signs. You got a sign right there. That's early warning. If you live through this fault, it's going to open on up because it's goes right in the mid-Atlantic Ridge. It's just the whole thing all the way up through here. So it's going to open up. So you know and you got your warning, early warning, and that's good. You know, there wasn't deaths and stuff, you know, no one getting killed. Uh, you know, we get our early warnings for a reason. Now, we just had this 5.8 over here, and... I'm looking for a upper 6 to a 7 plus to hit. And the way these plates are moving, you can see the pressure building up on the Cascadia. Not counting, you know, these two quakes, that's, that's not counting. We'll see some more activity on the Cascadia or on the Mendocino Fault Zone right here. In the next few days, we'll see more. Hopefully it's not big, but when you see this building and getting pressure on it, you know, by watching the GOES 16 live satellite and stuff, then if this don't go, then this over here does. And usually it's this over here. Sometimes it'll break loose and send the quake right down through this way. And you don't know which way it's going. I'm looking for a 6 upper six and seven or seven plus and the next three to five days I just don't know you know if I get an idea on closer to where it's going to hit then I'll let you know tomorrow night but just watch for it on the ring of fire and all of these big thoughts you know like this when we was looking for a seven plus when this here cracked and erupted but it went right through. You know, there's no way of uh, missing it. It cracked. Okay, I'll see you all in the next updates. Ain't much going on on the fire map. Or anything like that. So, I'll see you next time. Everybody stay safe and we'll be watching.